So two years ago, I sat in front of this camera and I tasted about three fall snacks. Not that many. So we are stepping up our game and I think doubling that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, doubling. Doubling our numbers from two years ago. We are trying six different, I don't want to call them all snacks because I have some drinks, but you know, we have some holiday, fall themed things that I can consume. So let's dive right into these. These are all from Trader Joe's. Obviously not sponsored. I wish Trader Joe's would sponsor me. Fall time is usually all about like pumpkin spice and pumpkin, pumpkin this, pumpkin that. I I hate pumpkin. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin, pumpkin spice, any of that stuff. Just quite honestly not my favorite. Uh, so the one and only pumpkin thing I got are these pumpkin spiced espresso beans. I love like chocolate covered espresso beans. So these are chocolate covered espresso beans with a pumpkin spice blend. Um, yeah, so this is what they look like. A little 99 cent bag from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna pop these open. And... Yeah, these are pretty good. Pretty good. Honestly, I don't taste too much of a pumpkin spice. It's like a very... You wanna try it? Yeah. Really not much. Not much of a, an actual pumpkin flavor. Like, more of like a, just a slight nutmeg. Like a slight nutmeg cinnamon kind of ness to it. Which really like, you know, that's... That's pumpkin spice one. Ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. Not too bad. These are actually pretty decent. Pretty good. I'll probably get these again. We need something to wash this all down with. We got our non dairy oat beverage eggnog. Onog? Can they call it eggnog? No. Onog. Onog non dairy oat beverage. You can't even call it eggnog milk. So shake this up. Shake it all up. I'm so excited for eggnog, but I'm so excited to try it in oat milk form. Oat beverage form. Whatever. Alright. Zink it. Zink it. That's disappointing. Like it's good, but it's not, it's not eggnog, like thick. It's a little disappointing. This amount is like robust. Yeah, it doesn't have that like thick. This is like they were thinking about eggnog in a different room. Yeah. Dang, it's still good. Add it to hot cereal. Mix it in your morning coffee. Maybe I'll add it to my espresso tea over there. But, damn, a little disappointing. <laughs> not, doesn't have that like, you know, thick eggnog flavor to it. All right, moving on to the next one. Okay, so I've got Trader Joe's chips right here. They are Thanksgiving stuffing, seasoned kettle chips, flavors of the classic holiday dish in each potato chip. Potato chips that taste like what? Have we lost our minds? Entirely possible. All right, Trader Joe's. You know, uh, these should probably taste really good. I imagine they taste like mashed potatoes and gravy. If you watch my channel, you know that I enjoy a good chip. I taste tested a bunch of different flavors of chips on my channel, so go back and rewatch some of those videos. So this one doesn't scare me at all. I'm actually very excited for this Thanksgiving stuffing potato chips. Mmm, oh my god. Right off the bat. Mmm, you want one? Mmm, mmm. So, so very seasoned. You see that? Mm. Focus on the potato chip. Yum. These are really good. Tastes like gravy. Like mashed potatoes and gravy. Yum. Mm -hmm. So we have everything but the elote, we have everything but the bagel, but have you heard of everything but the leftovers? <laughs> I uh, I saw this and I was like, yep, we're grabbing this one. This one is going in the pantry. It's like onion, garlic, black pepper, turmeric powder, celery. I said garlic when I don't even see garlic on here. No, but yeah, so it should be like a 
kind of like a, it should, I feel like it almost good, it's going to taste like those chips. So that it goes really good. So it says use this seasoning over potatoes, eggs, meat, and vegetables for a surprisingly good movie treat. Try it over popcorn or toasted nuts. Ugh, so I thought, let's try it with some baked mac and cheese. Yeah. So I've got some leftover baked mac and cheese. We're just gonna go ahead and God, pop the lid off of this. Oh shit, maybe that's a lot, but I'll mix it up. So this mac and cheese was already like, it was pretty bland. This was like leftover mac and cheese that was just like not that good. So we're hoping that this everything but the leftovers is gonna make these leftovers taste a lot better. <laughs> it's not happening. Smells good. It does smell good. It still has like a. It smells like a. It smells like Thanksgiving kind of. This tastes so much better with it. Maybe I just had to taste it beforehand. Mhm. Mm I still think it's a great idea. I still think it's gonna taste good on like potatoes and things like that. So you should definitely go find some of this. Uh, everything but the leftovers. Oh yeah, this is a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. All right, so I've got a second beverage. I don't normally drink tea. I'm more of a coffee person. But I saw this maple espresso black tea at Trader Joe's. And so I thought that, I thought, why not? I could give this a try. If anything, Erin will drink it since she's more of a dirty chai kind of tea girl. So we've got ourselves some brewed tea right up in here. I just added uh, like just a little bit of sugar just because that's how I like to drink my coffee. I do also have the egg, God, what is this, the onog over here just in case I want to add a little bit of cream, but we're going to try it without the cream first. I don't know how well I'm going to like it, just straight black, but let's give it a shot. It smells good. It recommends that you have dairy milk with it. Blech. That you put milk into it. Yeah, because it tastes like, tastes like coffee tea. Which, like, that's literally... That's literally what it is, but it tastes like coffee tea, so I don't, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna add, we're gonna add some of my oat beverage. Yeah, that tastes really weird. It's a little better. Yeah, that's, that's okay. It's okay, but not like something I'm probably gonna drink again. I'll probably drink this like on very rare occasions. Not bad though, not bad. But if you're a tea drinker, if you like like maybe espresso in your tea, or if you're just like a tea drinker in general, you might like this. Uh, not generally, not really, not really my cup of tea. Uh, and that brings us to the very last little snacky snack that I have been saving for last. I am super excited for these guys. I am not super sure on how you pronounce this. Labuchin, Le Labuchin, Labuchin. I don't know. Chocolate covered. Labuchin cookies, soft gingerbread with nuts and spices. They also had like a uh, like a frosting covered one, but I thought that the chocolate ones look so fucking good. There you go. That kind of looks interesting. What is that supposed to be? Probably a cookie. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. Like, not me being surprised that there's nuts in there when the box literally says nuts and spices, but mm. I don't care. Adam part seems like styrofoam. I think it's supposed to be like icing or something, but it really. Are you supposed to eat that? And it dissolves in my mouth. I'm not continuing to do that. 
doesn't say anything about removing anything before eating, so... I mean, like, I doubt you're supposed to remove it, but... Interesting. I like it. I mean... Not the styrofoam, but... I like it. What do you think? I bet you it's like an egg white. Mm. Mm -mm. Overall, I pretty much liked all the snacks. All the snacks were delicious. The, uh... Beverages. The beverages, though... Nah. So overall, I am not going to complain about this afternoon. It was a really successful trip to Trader Joe's. Super successful holiday snack taste test, and I hope you enjoyed this video too. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite holiday snack from Trader Joe's is, and maybe I'll go try that. Maybe I'll go find that and try that. But for now, I'm going to finish this mac and cheese. Please be sure to check out my socials. I'll have them linked down in the description below. And until next time, I don't know, I'll see ya.